you, well, well, where are the mics I use? Um, I don't know, but hold on. Hello! Welcome oh, to the Junk Drawer Show. How are you going? Yeah, I already hit record. Okay. Uh, Pat is in here. This is my friend Jose. I'm gonna take this away. You, you can do whatever you want. Say hello to the camera. Hello, everyone. Alright, great. I'm hiding my ketchup stains under this hoodie. I mean, that's a pretty shitty way to hide it. Just put, put it up there. No. Why? I have my drink you, right here. They don't, they're not sponsoring you. I don't care. You should, though. Maybe they will. None of this shit has, like, presentation. <laughs> I mean, it worked for Game of Thrones. What do you mean? Oh, that's right. You don't watch. Oh, the coffee the cup, cup that they removed already? Yeah. But it wasn't Starbucks, though. I mean, maybe. It wasn't. It looked Literally, like the designer Starbucks. that designed the logo on the cup came. I was like, this is the cup. What was it? It's some, like, wherever they film it, some local shop. Oh, okay. Because the guy, he came up with, like, the logo, and he has, like, pictures of, like, I don't know their actors' names, the Jon Snow mm-hmm. actor. He he has a picture with with the cup. Oh, okay. And, yeah, so. Well, in my head, it's Starbucks. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's Do you want a fidget spinner? We have, like, five. I mean, sure. No, I'll not this it. one. Go pick no, your own. I, I want that one, though. No, but this is, this is my favorite one. But that one's black. God, fine. They're yeah. all black. Well, not all of them. Uh-huh. Three of them. I was close. This is a weird shape, though. I know, but it spins so well that I like it a lot. <laughs> it's the best spinner. Dude, I, I had to start using it for D&D because I would keep moving the microphone. And because I'm so fidgety, which is you why are, it worked. You are very fidgety. I, I just, I have so much energy. It's, it's honestly, I'm surprised that you're so fidgety. Why? Be- well, because at least when podcasting. Oh, wait. What? Because you, you've done this for longer. It's not a nervous thing. It's just, I, I need to move all the time. That's why but, sitting at a computer all day sucks. But is it like, you could do a conscious effort on stopping it. I had to get my own. <laughs> um, Transition. Like, I, I can, but it's, it's, it's effort. Like, to not move, I have to really think about it and make sure that I don't. You're, you're exercising your brain muscles. <laughs> yeah, but I do that all day. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Either learning new shit or teaching you how to do it. Uh, yeah, that's fifty percent of your day. <laughs> For, but it's uh, fine. Uh, I honestly, I like having a bit more responsibility there. Yeah, I was starting to feel just cog-like. You know? Do you? Um. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It's like, I mean, you know, for me, it's a, it's, it's just. A bit not harder in 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 the sense of workload is is in the sense of the type of work like yeah. like I don't have more work because the person left I have more work because I, I uh, like they left so now all all those responsibilities are divided upon the whole team right so then there's like languages like angular that I barely ever worked with mm-hmm. even with angular js and now angular 7 and now i have to learn everything yeah uh, well you're, you're jumping you're basically jumping jobs because oh yeah you I, you, you, you were des- i mean you still are a designer with yeah. css but now you're getting into javascript stuff and it's not just javascript it's javascript with object-oriented yeah principles i that even i am still I've, having issue with i've jumped jobs for four five Five times. Job types? Yes. What, like, go through them? So, when I graduated... Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, when I graduated, I, I was a designer. Like, a basically a print designer. Okay. A good old 321. Oh, 321. Okay. Um, and then, after that, I was a... Technically a print designer, but more of a, a QA... I forget what the title was, but I was the one that like checked all the prints and that the registrations were correct and the colors were correct. Was that at the well, the print shop? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then after that, I worked at Full Sail as a motion graphic slash video editor, which I really enjoyed that, but I couldn't. I don't think I could do it full time. Was that? it's uh, isn't my heart's not in it i guess <laughs> it, it, it's not like the 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 boss that i had was really really good when i was doing that job or mm-hmm. that position uh 
but the type of content that we were producing it was just not interesting to me it was classes right it, it was basically online classes but they felt not good like the like the, the, the content, content. Po- oh like some of it some of it felt forced so like full sale but half assed yeah okay yeah. i mean you could tell that there was there was like a lot of pressure coming from the upstairs mhm and now we're just trying to get stuff done how did you did you guys make the classes yes so you did the videos and everything in the yes. curriculum yeah yeah we were part of the um Oh my god, what's the department called? School time. The instructional design department of that specific department. <laughs> okay. So we were the the ID process of that specific department. Instructional design. Gotcha. Okay. Um so yeah, we did all the videos and all the graphics, um and all that. But then after that I full sale. I transitioned more into a Web designer slash, I wouldn't even say developer, because I was mostly just using WordPress themes and Divi, yeah. not Divi, um, Elementor, which is basically the same thing. Yeah. Uh, but then I was like doing stuff with like Salesforce and Pardot. I don't know if you know what Pardot. I know is. Salesforce, not Pardot. Pardot is like. Is it not Pardo? Nah, it's P A R D O T. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Pardot is part of Salesforce. It's just, I think Pardot is how they collect leads and Salesforce, the CRM. Okay. Um, but then I was doing stuff with that. So I kind of had, at one point, I had like five five um, supervisors. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And it was not fun. That's such a clusterfuck. It was, it was interesting. Well, like, yeah, just not knowing who to report to. Even at, at Westgate, it's not great. It's it's a lot better mm. now, but when I when uh, I started, I had no idea. That, that's true. Who it, to it, talk to. Yeah, it's kind of like you start, and it's not that they don't they expect you to know already. It's that they don't tell you. <laughs> Are we talking about Westgate? Yeah, we're talking about Westgate. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like they don't mind you asking, but they don't tell you who to ask mm-hmm. specifically when things come up. And that's why Kondoker hates us. <laughs> you keep saying that. He doesn't hate us, though. <laughs> Jacob doesn't either. He just had a day. No, I, I don't think Jacob hates us. I think Kondoker is a little annoyed with me. Because of how how long did it take? Would, oh, no, not because of today's specific. Oh, just in general? Yeah. I, I try. I try. I, I think he thinks I ask questions before even trying to fix the problem. <laughs> and that's not the case. It's just Angular is not sticking in my brain. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, well, I think that you usually ask me first, right? Usually. But mostly for you, for when I ask you, it's mostly CSS stuff. Okay. When it gets into the, the, when it gets to like the object-oriented type yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's like deep CSS shit, like that's when I'm like, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's our, our gur- uh, guru. It's ridiculous. I don't know how he does it. I don't know either. I, like, he just Like I understand knowing shit. But, like, he knows shit. Yeah, I And think- he knows shit. He, he learns shit fast, too. Because, like, even him had to, like, learn Angular 7. And he picked it up so fast. Like, today he was talking to me about... He was explaining something to me. And he just, like, went straight through it. I'm like, you learned this, like, less than a month ago. Well, the concepts are the same. If you, He knows object-oriented programming, so he That's understands true. how to write. Because Angular is, is fairly similar to Java, at mm-hmm. least the way that they use Java. Right. So... If you know what to do in Java, you kind of know what to do in Angular. Right. When Trey, when Trey's talking about I guess. stuff, like he's he's taught me things, yeah. and he'll explain how to do it in Java, and then Kondoker or someone will just kind of tweak it to say what the difference is in mm-hmm. Angular. Okay. So plus so that, he's just he's smart. So that's why nothing sticks in my brain. <laughs> for for you? Yeah. Yeah, because you're coming from a, a design perspective. I, I always struggle with like I mean not always, but more recently, especially after starting this job, as in like. Do I want to push to just be more of a designer or do I actually want to try to go more front end? Because to an extent, uh, there's definitely more room, like there's more opportunities for job wise if I do go front end. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm a designer, like I can code the like 
open doors are way more than if I used to just a designer. Uh, but sometimes when I like go into like things like Angular uh, and JS, it's just like I don't know if it's me not giving myself enough time, but it's just it's not sticking. It's it's you not giving yourself enough time. Because I know how long it's taking me to get a full grasp on it. Because mm-hmm. when did we start doing internet? I mean, I've been doing internet since I started. You mean with Angular 7? Yeah, yeah. Probably like a month or two ago. It's definitely been more than that. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think back through... Three months? <laughs> yeah. Three, four? Let's, let's call it three. So it's three, and I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on it now. Mm-hmm. I still have a lot of things to learn, but this is someone who's I'm I'm someone who's been doing right. development. You're just now coming into it and you're used to just your hand or like <laughs> just just using your hand. That that's just how I code, guys. That's how I code. <laughs> but you're just getting used to coding now. You did super high in things, but it was it Yeah, was but that's surface different. level. That's the, the those classes are definitely more targeted to I don't want to say creative. But that's the like the messaging they use. Yeah, I mean it's functional. It's really so you know how to communicate with, with the no, techie would, side. Uh, yeah, but it's like more of like, ma- no, learn how to make things look how you want, mm-hmm. but not learn why they look like that. Yeah, or yeah. Like the like the the fundamentals of it. Yeah. Just enough that you can you can yeah. communicate. Uh, to be fair, in their defense, they have a million classes I haven't taken. Yeah, and this isn't a, a hit on them. It's <laughs> just a, like a different focus. Yeah. It's like Tyler texted me. Wow. Oh, he's Tyler. just going home. Oh, okay, <laughs> Tyler. Thanks. Well, I didn't see you see later. What well, just means we get to do this whole podcast. That's fine. So I've done this before. Yeah. What? That's a perfect transition. <laughs> um, so you messed that up by saying that's a perfect transition. No, I like doing no. it that way. You should have just gone into it. This is my show. It's smooth. This yeah. is my show. All I can right. do what I want. Okay. You're not paying me. So I can say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> so it was... That was when we first met. You, would, yes. you were doing it. Yes. It was a bit after starting uh, 3 two, one. And you did, what, eight episodes? Ten. Ten. Where are they now? Just round. Where are they? Yeah. Nowhere. <laughs> Honestly, you showed you showed one of them at the office. Well, it's like they don't. They're not hosted anywhere for for some reason. Uh, I mean, you can look it up if you really want to. It's, it was called "Us Can Do It." Mm-hmm. I know it doesn't make grammatical sense, but that's the point. Um, Apple or I iTunes. Oh my God, Apple Podcasts still has one of them. So like the last, I think this is the last episode, so episode uh-huh. ten is still in like the hosting platforms. So like if you go to uh, Apple Podcasts or you go to Deezer or you go to um, Stitcher, that uh, Stitcher, you'll find it and you can he- listen to it. I cannot vouch for the quality. <laughs> uh, it's been years since I've listened to it. Yeah, I mean, on just one note, your accent was a lot thicker. That was that was the one thing that I think you commented on when you showed. Oh yeah, yeah. like it was a, it was a huge difference. Yeah, like, I, I don't I, remember your accent being that thick when we met, but yeah, oh, it was thick. Yeah, it was real thick yeah. with double C's. Um, but I should find I should upload them again. It was uh, it was like at a point where I was kind of like not. I mean, I'm going through that same process again, but and I'll explain what I mean. So you now I graduated. Three, two, one happened. It all fell apart, and I was just like not happy with anything. Not necessarily in my life, but like like quality of work. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just removed everything from social media and anything. So I deleted all the episodes of Us Can Do It, mm-hmm. and I was kind of upset with how Us Can Do It ended. I'm not gonna get into the specifics right. of that story, but it wasn't it it wasn't it, smooth. Yeah, it, it's fine now. But it was it was definitely not to me. Um, I mean, I, I miss podcasting, but doing a podcast by myself would be really boring for me and for everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Um, but now I'm what I'm saying is that I'm going through the same process, and now I'm going through the same thing where like, uh, the job at uh, Fullsail fizzled out, and then 
I was just like, okay, I gotta get a portfolio up. And then Josh, you know, flew down from the heavens and I was like, hey, bro, I got you. And I got the job at Westgate and I stopped working on my portfolio <laughs> and then still I'm not done. Yeah. And I removed everything from my social medias. I only have one post on Instagram and one post on Twitter and it's my demo reel. Yep. And at least in this, t- in this, actually all the Twitter posts are deleted. I have an archive of them. I'm not posting those back again. Like there's no reason why. But on on Instagram, I still have, like they're just archived. Archived. Like, you know, on Instagram itself, you can archive. Yeah, I just learned that recently. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I did the same thing with my portfolio, mm-hmm. except I got it to a point that I thought was decent enough mm-hmm. and then said, ah, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, but you, but you, you've never had not have a job. To get kind of there was there was that period where, after three two one had kind of stopped, I stopped working with them, mm-hmm. and then I was working with Loba, but they weren't giving me as much work because, and then oh right, Loba, yeah, my my wrists were shot, so there was, and then with crazy, just kind of draining money from me. That's was, true. It That's was true. from like. Let's call it July, August, like August to December. Maybe July to December was just a, a rough period. Yeah, it, it was not fun after I lost my full sale job. Yeah, how long? Wait, was that? How long were you? No, in between jobs there. Well, wait, am I confusing timelines? Very possible. I just watched the End Game and that's not good. Um, when I lost the job at three, two, one. By the way, I'm a good employee, <laughs> but none of this, these job losses have been my fault. Yeah, I can vouch. <laughs> it's just like life situations. Um, so when I lost the job at 321, that's when I worked at the print shop. Yes. Yeah. That was supposed to be part-time. Like, I was just going to work in like, that's like 30 hours a week. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, pay my bills and shit. Uh, but then they needed me like every freaking day. So I used, I started even working overtime to the point where like I was doing th- basically two jobs and one that would pay me like normal, like hour rates. And then the other one was just like, depending on how much you do, we'll pay you like a flat fee. That's so shitty. Yeah. But it's like, it's not going to make a difference. Cause like how much I was actually doing mm-hmm. and like it just, it leveled out to what they had to pay me anyways. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, and then it was like seven months of that, and and then I found the job at Full Sail. That I feel like that that I mean obviously it was a longer timeline between uh, three to one and Full Sail than Full Sail to Westgate. But those seven months were rough. Yeah, that was well. That was that was not only your first job loss, but it was then moving to a job that wasn't really in your career path. It was it was like a, you know, like, like a bumpy road on the side. Yeah, like you were kind of moving forward, but also. Uh, no, that was more definitely a ladder, a horizontal <laughs> move. Yeah, I, was, yeah, just that yeah, I guess I guess on. moving forward in the sense that you weren't moving backward. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah. So I think that's part of why it was so difficult. Yeah, I, I mean it was fine, and you were younger too. Like you I just mean, had that's left. how time works, Josh. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you just had less like, life experience in, in dealing with that stuff. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but the time between full sale and um, and Westgate, it was like maybe two months. That was a little bit more than that. I don't remember. It, yeah, I don't think it was very long. It, whatever. It was. It was less than half the time I spent between um, three to one and full sale. Mm-hmm. Is, is yeah. And now you've got a job that you can probably keep forever. Yeah. You could. I'm just saying. Yeah. You, like you do well. The department does well. Like we we have such a good meshing group that. If yeah, you I never was actually surprised that it was. I, I was a very. Decent place. Not a decent place. No, but like, like like the same a, people. The, the yeah, the people are good. Because like culture is pretty good. I've never considered myself like a. Like, I've never seen myself in a corporate setting. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the part of that is going to school at Full Sail. Yeah. Um, but 
it's okay. It's good. Dude, I was so nervous starting because I had never done anything corporate. Everything I had done had been either freelance or agency. So all I knew about corporate was people talking to you about how soul crushing it was <laughs> and how everyone was offended all the time. Because this was like the peak when yeah. everyone was offended all the time or people were saying that they were offended mm-hmm. all the time. So I thought I was going to get in there and I like, oh, I can't do anything. What? Someone's going to get mad. Uh. Yeah. I mean, and I thought I was going to hate it, but it, it was nice. It's nice being able to just put in your 40 hours, work with people who are like the meanest person we have is trey and he's not mean he's, not he's mean. just stressed yeah um yeah we, i mean we definitely talk have numerous conversations about our work anxiety what our work anxiety <laughs> oh work anxiety yeah <laughs> but i mean would you consider would you consider full sale a corporate job well i wasn't a teacher though no i know so it's, i mean indirectly K- kind of it's it's more corporate than a startup agency. Yeah. But it's not as corporate where it is a legitimate corporation and you're just a small yeah. part of it. Because mm-hmm. what you were doing was directly tied to the main part of the business. Yes. So, okay, okay. and, and ours is, is kind of a, it's main tie, mainly tied to a secondary part. Yes. Like it facilitates the real thing. The real thing is hotel and timeshare stays, but we do the way that people book it. Yeah, say it right. Oh, saving lives? It's called, they don't say that anymore. It's called rentals. Oh, did they stop saving lives? Apparently, when I looked for one, they didn't say that. Good. It was fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, sorry, David Siegel. I love it. Bring it back, please. Hey, man, he's going to make me work on the Twins website. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, I, It is funny how sites will just drop off sometimes. I mean, I'm not surprised that one dropped off. No, no. I mean, that's corporate life. Yeah. Um, But... Yeah, what's got is fine. Definitely been in the best financial position I've ever been in my ad- in my six years of adult life, mm-hmm. or I guess yeah, about. You have a four hundred one k now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Health insurance. I oh, got. Hey, you do. What four hundred one k? Yeah, I was agreeing with you. Oh, I thought you were doing the like. Oh, I totally do. No, no, no shaking your head. No, I got retire investments and shit. Yeah, kind of have a portfolio. Couldn't really tell you what's in there. <laughs> oh yeah, where they do it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got it. I got a letter saying that they shuffled it around. I said, yeah. uh, I, I, "Okay, th- sure." I, I I have the emails. Sometimes I actually check, and sometimes I'm like, "Is it positive?" And it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, is the return positive? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. To me, it's it's extra money. Yeah. Like yeah. I, if I don't think about it, I'm just getting that company match. Yep. I think it's is it two years for <laughs> yeah. investment. Yeah, dope. I mean, you're 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 gonna do it. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna be here at least two years. But yeah, I was actually talking to a family member this weekend, and um, like she, we were talking about all the older jobs I had, mm-hmm. like basically basically what we're talking about right now. But she is an older family member, uh, and she was like, "You can't be leaving jobs every year or less than a year." And then I was just like, that's normal now. Yeah. It, it, it's, it can definitely hurt you if you do it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But if, if it's out of your control, it's out of your control. Especially when you're you're a portfolio employee. Yes. So it's, if you show that you can do yeah. things well, if you can explain why it was only a year or only two years or however long you're out of place. Mm-hmm. And as someone who is working on hiring someone now... I, it's easier to put myself in that position and, yeah. and say that. Dude, hiring sucks. I had, I had I, done it before and it wasn't nearly as bad. Is the position posted anywhere? Do you know? I have no idea. I don't have control over that. I know, but you could check. Well, I don't I don't know. I just right. That's not my area. Well, because I'm thinking the recruiters just send everyone. Well, they probably do. But... It has to be posted. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be. I assume it's posted because... Because mine wasn't. Well, yeah, because... No, it, it was. It wasn't. It got posted. Well... It got posted the it, day right, I got the... Uh, yeah, because... <laughs> so, the way that that happened was we found out Nick was leaving and they said, does anyone know anyone who would apply? And I think it was me and Terry both had people. So, before they put it out to the public, they put it out. like they. Right, but I'm saying, like, is it 
That's, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't posted to the public. Yeah, but that's not how this one is. Because the way that I got the job was I was applying on boards, on just different um, job boards. And then it was a recruiter mm. call. So it's definitely out there. I've never worked with recruiters. I like them in concept. Yeah. The ones right now are not bringing us the best front end candidates. But I'm when I met with some when I was when I was job searching, they were nice people. I mean, I believe they're nice people. Matt, but I see like I said, they're just sending everyone. Yeah. But the, it's it's it would be hard for them to really understand what we're looking for. I don't know how not much. if you're a good recruiter. Well, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know how much whoever needs to tell them what we're looking for is telling them. Yeah. Because I, I know, like, you're not in contact with the recruiter. Right. You just get the forwarded emails. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We have one tomorrow. I'm not pumped Actually, for Actually, I feel like, I mean, maybe I got lucky, but I did some interviews at, uh, at Full Sail where they were just, they had me sit in because they were basically going to be my direct coworker Mm -hmm. and it wasn't that bad yeah i don't i don't know if it's i think it's the time just when when you were at full sale the um the boot cap boot camp (laughs) industry wasn't nearly as big it was still big but it wasn't like it is now so now we have this huge (laughs) influx of people who went to boot camps or are just bad like there's people who did what you did at Full Sail, mm-hmm. doing WordPress, and that's about it, and are calling themselves front end developers. Yes, and then trying to get past Trey. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> and that's never that. going to work. I mean, you've seen the test. The yes. test that we have is is so simple that the yeah yeah like ah oh my god. If you if 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 we are talking specifically about somebody that considers them a front end developer, yes. That's... Yeah, that and that that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And front end developer is is kind of a vague term now because some people yeah. think of it more as a front-end designer some people think of it more as a i'm a full, s- full stack <laughs> designer fuck you are <laughs> i know all the stacks i know all the code <laughs> lamp stack i use that's WAMP. all i remember i use wamp oh damn i put that's a server custom css on that custom editor on wordpress oh yeah what's import versus include Import. <laughs> you use import to import mixins, and then you use the includes to use the mixins. Almost. Was well, that's what it is? It could be a mixin. It's not necessarily a mixin. You're including frag- a partial fragments of code. A partial. Yeah, the things with the underscores. Yeah, partial. <laughs> <laughs> I know it in practice. I know okay? you, you do. You do. Like I literally not corrected you today, but I told you what it was. What? Well, the part the input include. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I always, they're just two at eyes, and then I'm uh, like, okay. ah, one of them's gonna work. But one's I N, one's instant messaging, and then the other one's I N. I don't know. Which uh, is I instant was, messaging. I was trying to come up with something. I wanted to see where you were gonna it go. Didn't, it didn't work out. <laughs> Sometimes you start a sentence and you don't know where it's gonna go. Me? Everyone. Oh, I thought you were gonna poke fun at me. No, no. <laughs> that's just that's just like the way that people talk. Yeah. I I mean I do that all the time. There's an easy bailout where you say, ah, I don't know. And then people laugh like, oh, you're so funny. You're hilarious. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I, this guy's cool. I'm, I'm happy there. Yeah. No, it's a good place. And we have a good team, which I like. Like, Monday was a good day. Just having everyone, Mon- not everyone, but most of the, yesterday. M- m- All right. <laughs> yesterday was Monday. Yeah. Like, we didn't have Angela and Amanda and Brian were with us. But it was good. Like, they, we, I got work done, but we also mm. all hung out. Lunch was, was fun. Yeah. Like, I wasn't surprised when, when Trey was like, let's go to lunch. But cause, because I wasn't surprised because of the new, the new hire. He uh, almost always does that when he's in. If he doesn't have meetings. Maybe I'm not in when he's in. That is true. Because we've got flip schedules because you hate me now. That's it. Yeah. That's yep. why I brought you on the podcast. You literally s- said, I'm moving and I want to see you less. And you just literally get the exact <laughs> I'm gonna, opposite. I'm going to do the Wolverine schedule now. <laughs> it's like, what, what's Jose doing? I'm not doing that. The opposite? Got it. <laughs> yeah. But it's all right, Josh. I understand. I can be tired. Yeah. 
<laughs> I wanted to see what you said. <laughs> I had nothing. That was one of those times where I start the phrase and yeah. just like, ah. Yeah. You just elongate the yeah. Yeah, boy. Like that? How long have you been doing this? The podcast? Yes. Um, Our first one was right when we moved in. Not right, but uh, no, I'm, I'm thinking for myself. We moved in in a July. So probably, <laughs> <laughs> it was two years ago. It was July. Probably August or September. I think our first upload was November. Well, the year. Oh, two years, a year and a half ago. 2017. Okay. I feel I feel longer. But maybe I'm including mediocrity in that time. Yeah, line. which fell through because Mike, because if the, you ever watch this, this it, is your fault. Because of the name. Yeah, because we were mediocre. That was That's the name we've used since high school. So when, Why? <laughs> well, when, when we play... Because it's, it's funny to us. You're when, being when we ironic. Played, yeah. When we played Rock Band, we had to <laughs> make a band name, so it was Mediocrity. Okay. That's just what we've always done. I, I can see myself, uh, my 14-year-old self thinking it was funny. Yeah, not 18. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were 15. But yeah, that I was, forget, that was you're actually Justin. older than me. Yeah. Not by much, but... I think two, you're 93? 94? Four. Okay. Like, it's not, a, it's not a big enough gap to where, like, we don't know the same shit kind of thing. No, especially now. Yeah. Because two years becomes less and less meaningful. Yeah, well, that's time. A flat circle. I honestly forgot how old I was. Like, the other day, I don't remember what I was filling out. I put 19. <laughs> 19? Yeah. That's I, such a gap. Yeah, and... and Is it because it was 2019? No. It, it was like, I put like 19 or 20. I don't remember exact like num- name or number, sorry. And the... Because I, I don't know why... I actually don't remember. It was like asking the, my my age and then like a couple of fields later, it was like the date, my date of birth mm-hmm. and it was like you're not that old like is oh it was an it, online form yeah oh, okay. and it was like you're not 19 <laughs> it's like you want to know the field is wrong i'm like oh shit wait that's to fix it i get i'm what 24 yeah i don't feel 24 yeah i think that's right that's insane that doesn't know i know it just keeps happening too it's ridiculous i'm only 25 this year Yep, you're gonna be an adult. Holy shit! Halfway to thirty, which is basically. So am 50. I not an adult? An adult? Not really. I have to be twenty-five. I think you got to be almost thirty to be a full-on adult. I don't think well, I'm a full-on adult. There's, there's. Oh, you mean a legal adult? Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean legal. There's a differentiation adult. between a full-on adult <laughs> and what we are. There's no legal definition, but that's true. Your brain's still developing until like twenty-five. And then it explains a lot. Yeah, that's why you're so dumb. Yep. Thanks. Idiot. Thanks. But yeah, so your your brain's still developing, and then just life experience. Yeah. I don't know. I I feel like I'm adult-ish. Like I'm I'm pretty good at doing stuff, but I don't know. Knowing people who are even just a little bit older. Why do you feel like you're an adult-ish and not an adult? Is it because you don't have kids? <laughs> no. No. Like I what? Mean, that, I, I think Tyler Tyler is more adult than I am. But w- what differentiates an adult from what you are right now? I don't know. I really don't. I just don't feel like an adult. Okay. And I th- some of it could be living here with a roommate. With a roommate where the living room is a podcast studio as opposed to Oh, that's where we are. Huh? That's where we are? This is where you live? This is where I live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. You've never been over here before. <laughs> Except, oh, we're, we got to do another Catan night. That's true. So sometime in June, we'll figure out when to do it. But Hopefully when I'm still here. Well, it'll have to be because when you leave, I leave. You leave a week before me. When do you leave? 24. No, I'm leaving the same time as you. I thought you left. Be water. The 22nd way. is is the week I'm looking He's at. abandoning me. Send the feds. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what were we talking about? adults adults yeah i feel like and i think that's a large part of it is in my head an adult has furniture sets not furniture does that make sense <laughs> yes like th- none of this really like, looks put the most put together thing is this it's more like 
adults have the whole IKEA set that's in that room versus just a couch. Yeah, like think think. <laughs> or is like, it just the well? I mean, that, <laughs> like, I'm not gonna pull the the thing down, but just from what you can see, we have wood sitting over here because it was woody. It was just yeah, that's what we used to paint stuff. I don't know if you can see Pat's like random shit hanging on the wall for his his um uh Florida flyer, and then this is just like a clusterfuck of things we like to do. But to be fair, you've moved like 700 times in the last two years or three. Years. There is also that. Yeah, this is the first time I've not moved in a year, at least. Also, and you've always had roommates. Uh, yes, except when I was an RA. I'm not counting that. Okay, but yeah, I've always had roommates. Because you were an RA when you were still a student. Mm-hmm. I'm not counting that. I'm saying... That. As moving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like three times within that first year, and then a year and a year after that. Yeah, that wasn't fun. No. <laughs> No, those those became I, unfun times. Three, four apartments now. You have? Mm-hmm. I think I've only seen two of them. There was the one when you did the podcast. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen the better ones. And the better ones? <laughs> Were the other ones near Full Sail? The, the one you saw the podcast on was near Full Sail. I don't remember. That was four years ago? Yeah. And I went there Holy once. Holy shit. I know, dude. I, I yeah, but the the first one was fine. Um, it was a weird situation. My roommate, the my room. It was a weird relationship with my roommate. Mm-hmm. And then I moved closer to Full Sail, and the complex itself wasn't the best. The apartment was big, but it's just the complex itself was sketchy. It was a little sketch. Where was it? It was on a college student um, budget. You know. It was, was it? on Aloma. Aloma and Golden. Oh, and, yeah. And Golden Road. Yeah. It, it was there. And Foresight, not Golden Road. Don't go find it. <laughs> um, And then I moved to the one you saw where I did the 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 podcast. But that at that point, I only lived with Kathleen. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was, it, was, it was fine at that point. I'm, all my roommates sucked ass. All, all, every single fucking one. How, well, you only had two then, right? Three. Three. Yeah. Roommates make or break a place. Yeah, but I feel like you never had issues. Well, bad enough issues with a roommate. I don't talk to any of my roommates. Oh, yeah. No, I'm on good terms with, with all the roommates, pretty much. Like, they're the, not even the worst, but when I took Mike's place, when he moved in with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I just didn't get not that I didn't get along with them, but they worked nights and I worked days. So mm-hmm. when they were up doing shit, I had to like work. Right. So and I was never really close with them, but they're nice people. Right. Yeah, I, I lucked out with roommates. I did not. No, you didn't. You did not. They so did. do you want to? Can you ramble for like two minutes? Yes, I can ramble. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, my roommate sucked ass. I. I had one that literally just disappeared like three months in into the year long lease. He was just one day he, he didn't show up and then it was months on end where I was trying to contact him and I had to pay the rent by myself and apparently he had decided to move back to New York without saying anything. He completely dropped out of, out of uh, school and I... He only got in contact with me when I messaged him where I left a voicemail. I couldn't, I can't remember exactly uh, how I contacted him, but I basically told him that if he didn't come pick up his stuff, I'm just going to throw it away or sell it. And that was the only way he actually responded to me. And within a week, he was there at the apartment picked up, picking up all his shit, which... Honestly, he should have just thrown away because it was really crappy. Uh, the one that replaced that one, we just didn't, personality-wise, we just didn't get along. Um, then it was, there were all sorts of miscommunications and not respecting everybody's space and privacy. But it's not good now. I love my girlfriend. I think I like her enough. It's been six years. Yeah, let's hope so. It, it would 
make no sense if all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. But it's better when you do do that earlier rather than later. Not you specifically. The I'm deuces? Just, yeah, deuces. No, but really, when people people get together and then, like, I I have a friend who got who was with someone for about three years. They got married and then divorced after a year. Mm-hmm. It sucks. It was terrible. But it's better that it happened, you know, mid-20s than mid-30s when you have another 10 mm-hmm. years under the belt. Yes. So... I don't know what you said for those. I was talking about my seconds. shit roommates. Oh, okay. So I, I kind of just jumped in wherever, but. I mean, it, it, what you said makes sense. Yes. Haha, professional. <laughs> but, yeah, I agree with that. I've, I've, all the relationships I've had have been long relationships. Mm hmm. But, maybe I'm just that good, you know? Damn. I only find the good ones. Around. The good ones, and then they one of them turned out not to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got what a 50, 50 a five hundred batting average? Uh, the fuck, sign me, Cardinals, send me in a contract or something. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have mostly dated good people, except what? for the one that was terrible. What do you mean? That was perfect. Yeah, she was the best. I love when See, people show up drunk to my house. <laughs> I've oh, I've known Josh since 2015. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Uh, sorry for anybody that was listening. I I'll probably take the that mic. out, like a little. Uh, but in that time frame that I know of, because we we kind of we didn't have a falling out, but we didn't talk as much after mm-hmm. three two one. Um, but that I know of, you've dated three people uh, like to, i don't want to name names it's well yeah if you're talking like seriously dated probably three yeah probably about yeah three um and two of them i was like hell yeah josh <laughs> that one even the first time i met her i was just like nope yeah I don't remember what movie we went to see. I know we went to to the movies to see something. Um, it was the one with the blonde woman kicking people. Really? Yep. What was that called? Oh, I, I know exactly. Oh, it's Charlie Theron. Yeah, yeah. Ultraviolet? No, was it Ultraviolet? No, I'll look it up. That's yeah, what whatever it was, that was the movie. Why did we go see that? I don't know. I think we were just looking to see something. I was just want to see you. Oh, yeah. She picked a fight. Well, yeah, we got into a fight in the car a minute because she was sitting on her phone the whole time and I was trying to talk to her. I can imagine you telling a 20 year old, hey, don't be on your phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not 20. Let's 25. She was my age. Oh, really? I thought she was younger. Mm -hmm. Well, she she acted. Yeah, she was. She was emotionally stunted. But uh, (laughs) I didn't say anything. So I did. Don't quote me. But, um, yeah, I told her, get off, like, not get off your phone, but, hey, can, I'm, like, I'm trying to talk to you, can, can you put your phone down? Mm-hmm. And then she's like, me, me, me. And then that's why, when we walked up, she was. For anybody still fuck. interested, the movie was called, or is called, Atomic Blonde. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a decent movie. Yeah, it, it was, was fine. A, it was a fun action movie. Yeah. It's no John Wick. John Wick 3. John, I'm so excited. Oh, he's- this segues though. I know. You know what? Ford- you just gave me shit for doing that. <laughs> I know. I did it on purpose. <laughs> so apparently, there's rumors that are not so rumors because there's been leaks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that Fortnite is doing a John Wick limited time mode. So how does that work? It's like ninety nine verse one. Well, I don't know. Because they, they've had numerous limited time modes and they've been different things. It'll be like okay. team deathmatch and like they've been like capture the flag kind of stuff. Um, but the that they just started season nine and and in one of the corners of the map there was this house that was kind of abandoned and like it was just like a random house that mm-hmm. if you you were going to the bathroom when the game started and you had to land somewhere like, you can just go you could just go because there was probably nobody there you know if you if you deployed late 
and you can just go there and all that. You would get some loot. Right. But apparently now, it's the actual John Wick house. Huh. They literally put John Wick's house. That's pretty cool. And it's actually pretty dope. So, and I said as a segue, because on that list, it says another thing. Oh, I thought we were just going to talk about John Wick. Oh, we could talk about John Wick, too. But do you want to talk about streaming? You want to talk about or John Super Wick? Smash Brothers. Is that what the other thing says? Yeah, I have streaming, podcast, and then Super Smash Brothers. All right, we can talk about John Wick, and then we can go. Have you seen, you've seen the first two? Yes. Right. I've seen John Wick 1 and John Wick 2. Cool. Well, topic covered. Okay. <laughs> So May seventeenth. Are you gonna are are you gonna start streaming again? Again? I know. I guess I. Well, you did, did for a, it was like I guess one or I two. Did. I did. It just got too popular. <laughs> just you like, just couldn't deal with the limelight. I couldn't like you know all the notifications, man. It's just like I actually I was looking at, at at my like Twitch settings and profile all mm-hmm. that yesterday, and I did more than I remember doing. How many did you do? Well, in total, it, I did like twelve hours. Oh, okay, and because you, uh, because Twitch has like achievements, you know, because they have everybody's a streamer, everybody can stream. Yeah, they gamify it, and then they have affiliate, and then they have a partner. Um, so I was looking at the achievement to go to affiliate because I'm considering starting doing it again, um, in a more or a less committed way. Mm-hmm. But and I did more than I thought. You yeah. know what you should do. No. Build a computer. All right, everybody get an listening. AT 2020. Every- no, 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 let me finish. You get an AT2020. And then get WoW Classic on August 27th. You're welcome for that tweet. I actually found out before that. Why didn't you tell me, you asshole? Because it had only been like three hours. I didn't have time to tell you. I was busy today. I was busy too. Not busy enough not to send you that. Well, I knew I was going to see you tonight, so I thought <laughs> I'll tell you then. Okay. But August 27th. Mm-hmm. And then, really, I just want you to build a computer <laughs> so you'll play. <laughs> All right, anybody, everybody listening to this podcast, I, I'm a person that debates purchases for a long, 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 long time. Anything, it used to be anything be- over twenty dollars, but now it's $20. like <laughs> <laughs> even if it's twenty dollars, you're like, but, I don't know. But <laughs> now it's like fifty plus. I'm like, mm, I sit on it like for like half a year, mm-hmm. and if I still want it, then I'll purchase it. But I've been considering getting a PC pretty much since September of 2017. Really, that long? Yeah. I mean, I, I, like I've thought about it before, but I, I don't. I didn't have the money. Yeah. Uh, but there's some things coming up that. Are big expenses that I don't know if it makes sense for me to build a computer right now. I think. Did you end up getting that credit card? Yes. You saw it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, yeah, get another one. Hell no. <laughs> just get, just spend four thousand dollars over you the course know, of three months. You know how much it took me to get that credit. Card. I know. Just, like I literally paid thousands of dollars of credit card debt in less than a year. Yeah, you'll flip. You'll get used to buying on credit. Oh, no, I'm good now. Yeah. Oh, I got this shit down. <laughs> yeah, you were spending a lot of time researching it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, that's what I do with everything. Yeah. But, you, yeah, I think you should build a computer, especially if you do want to casually stream. Because it's pretty easy to do, like, what we what I have here, where it's just the tower. Get something like this, but get a... Um, I mean, just give me the tower. If you want me to have one so bad, just give me that one. But I need it. But just, you'll build one. But I already built one. No, but build one again. Money? No, you do it. But I already built but one. But you got more money than I do. No, I don't. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. I don't know. We're both in I debt. Mean, if we want to... <laughs> We're both in debt. But but seriously, if you get this and get a... I think it's an AT2020. It's a shotgun mic that... um. I mean, I'll probably just get a Blue Yeti. Don't. Don't get a Blue Yeti. <laughs> I'm, I'm, they're mediocre. If you're going to do it, do it do it decently. Yeah. <sighs> Get, just I'm get, gonna get. You can get a USB mic, but get get a shotgun. But you, are you thinking of the snowball? Even the Yeti's not great. What do you mean? It's okay for the amount of money you're paying. It's okay. It's like eighty bucks. Yeah, it's okay. What are you comparing it to? These are better, and these were and fifty-five. You, with with this whole thing, it was eighty, mm, including the cable. But then you told me I shouldn't get these. N- 
no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't get these because the way that the, the sound picks up, it like it gets really bassy here and then it gets really tinny here. You have to be in this perfect area. What you want to get is a shotgun mic. So get the eight. I think it's an AT2020 and it, it looks similar. You know, um, H3 podcast. Yes. Have you seen their mics? Yes. That's what they use. Get that or get something like that. But I don't want some money. Well, how are you going to record audio then? I'm just going to use my Apple headphones. Don't do that. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> hey, man, I'll tell you this. The first time I stream, I'm going to do it with either Apple headphones or... this it before okay. you say anything. That's why I'm waiting. Or my head, my gaming headset. Because I don't want to go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars and then decide I'm not going to do it. I support that, but have better audio. Right. I, the whole I, thing is audio. That like, if the visuals suck, it's okay. If the audio sucks, no one's gonna pay attention. I mean, I'll just play music, <laughs> and then and then get copyright strikes. I'm not, but I'm not um, posting the videos or anything. Oh, you don't get hit if it's if it's streamed. Well, you get hit on the on the vods on the video on demand. Oh, okay. But if you don't save them, then you don't get it. Mm. So, like, you can make, well, if you're an affiliate or a partner, depending on your status, you can get paid either way. Okay. Uh, yeah, you should do it, though. You should, I should stream or I should buy hundreds of dollars of equipment? No, no, no. <laughs> buy, like, $800 worth of equipment. Mm. Mm. I got to wait six months. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> We just talked about that. I know, I know. I'm trying to break you out of that. It's not going to happen. But how, how much? How many hours of enjoyment do you think you'd get from from streaming and setting that stuff up? I, I don't see... I know why you're asking me. and I don't see money the same as you do. How do you see it? I, I see it more binary than you do. So, explain it. I see it as a finite resource. <laughs> Instead of like... Even though I know I'm... I'm I'm going to receive another paycheck in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like, I I know I treat every check like it's all the money I have. Okay. But it's not. I know. But as of right now, I, I, in my financial plan of getting out of fucking debt. Yeah. Is, that's my concentration. I think your your interest rates are a lot higher than mine too, right? For the private ones, yes. Because yeah. we don't have private ones. That, that changes it too. Because my interest rates are, aside from a couple of student loans, they're so low that it's like I mean, free money. if you want to give me money. No. I and still... I'll pay you back without interest. No. Then. That's bad business. Win-win. I know it's bad interest. That's just, that's just win-lose. That's win-lose. <laughs> you win and I lose. Yeah. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. I just, I think, I don't know. You also, you do more things now for fun. Now that you have some wiggle room, it's well, not like what you're. What do not... I do for fun? Please tell me. Like we went paintballing. Oh, okay. I'm saying you, you go out and do things. It's not like you are are like holding yourself tight still, oh, like you yeah, were when no. you didn't have money. I eat food. Yeah, I <laughs> do. I did the same thing when like it took me. Bro. It took me like six months being at Westgate to realize I can kind of relax and. Yeah, that's about the same. Yeah, it's been. <sighs> I can't do math. It's been more than six months. Eight? Has it been eight? Uh, maybe. New York, August. I think August is, is a year for you, right? Eight. It has been eight months, yes. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy how different it was when I started, to compared to now. Thanks Which to you weren't me. There. Huh? <laughs> Thanks to me. I mean, partially, yeah. Because it was just no one really talked. I yeah, told I got you the first, the first like, two weeks there, I didn't talk Chaos to anyone. told me before. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I I I agree with you that I need a mic. But we'll yeah, see. I mean, really get a Yeti, it's fine. I just want you to have cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can be rich like you, okay? I'm not rich. I just invest well, and by invest I was, well, I mean I have a 401k. So I was looking at like the equipment of like uh, of the streamers I follow. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. They yeah, got, like close to hundreds of. Like hundred thousand dollars of equipment. Yeah, the professional man. That's insane. I mean, to be fair, I'm wearing their hoodie right now. Yeah, I was trying to figure out who that was. Oh, 
I mean, I can explain it now if you want. I don't know who they are. I mean, they're they're five streamers. Uh huh. Um, but Juan's a professional baseball player. Okay. So he actually makes more money from playing baseball than he does mm-hmm. from streaming. But he's a millionaire, right? Because he's a professional baseball player. Um, this is Doctor Lupo, which is the person I follow the most. Um, he's a Twitch streamer as a ninja, mm-hmm. Fortnite guy. <laughs> this is Tim the Tap Man. Okay. Which is not a streamer. And this is Paul. And the joke is that they're all four millionaires, but he's not. <laughs> Suck it, he, Paul. He 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 streams part time. Part time. Yeah, he works at Apple. Oh, okay. It was a, they did a roast uh, a TwitchCon for Tim, mm-hmm. and then Trevor made the joke, and it became a design a because uh, all the profits from this design went to Saint Jude. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a good looking shirt too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good shirt. I need a black hoodie. Like, like your soul. I don't think it's black anymore. Aw. <laughs> I think it's more like a... There's just some blue in that black. That's good. I feel like it's hard to maintain a black soul as you get older. <laughs> I... Yeah. I just... I to, to still be angsty... I don't. It's. I feel like it's harder. I don't think my heart, my heart, my soul was ever black because I was angsty. You just mean life being hard. No, I was more like. I guess frustration and angst is kind of related. Yeah. Um, but it was more for me frustration than angst. Like I didn't have anywhere to, like I'm saying it's not angst because I didn't have like a like a grudge against anything. Like I wasn't like, like put, putting blame on anything. Is that what angst is? I feel like angst is like you're 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 basically holding a grudge against something or somebody. Mm. I mean, hey Google. <laughs> yeah, actually, Alexa, what is angst? Oh my god, I hate this thing. It's so bad. Amazon, get your shit together. Yeah, let's just let's just look it up. <laughs> let's see what angst is. Everybody, tell us in the comments. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not, not streaming live. yet. Angst. Definition. The feeling of deep anxiety or dread. Typically unfocused. Oh, never mind. That's what I thought. It, it's just like a general like, <laughs> fuck everything. Life sucks. Literally the opposite of what I said. <laughs> English is my second language. Yeah, you get a pass. <laughs> I'll forever use like freaking excuse. Yeah. Come yeah. Guys, so angst. English is actually my second language. Yeah. I'm 2% fluent. You're not. I'm 1% fluent. You're not. I can talk to like a toddler. K knows more Spanish than you. Yeah. He can talk to like a middle schooler. He, yeah. No, he's good. He's, uh, he's smart. He's he's good at breaking things down and, and learning them. Yeah. It's just, it's Why not a priority for me right now. Why? Like I want to. Because I have other shit I got to do. It's your culture. Yeah, I know. And that's why You're it's You're moving away there. from your culture. There's Mexicans out there. They speak Spanish. That's Just a very you, different Spanish. That, that's not your culture. I know. <laughs> that's how that works. I don't know. The Midwest is kind of my culture. <laughs> yeah, but my first ten years I lived out there. You're you're letting go of fifty percent of your culture. No, I'm not. I'll learn it. Hmm. No, it really is. It's on my list, but there's so much stuff trying to wrap up before going out there. Just, a, I mean, May. I I literally have no free weekends because it's. Last weekend was all recording. This upcoming weekend, I'm in Denver, and then the weekend after that is a super recording weekend of three days straight. Are you are you scheduling those releases, or are you just releasing as they D and D record? Well, whatever you've been recording. D and D, yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be every Thursday. It kind of depends on if Pat does the meta because he I I do all the video and audio editing, and then he does the meta information. So we should have one every Thursday, but sometimes he doesn't do it. <laughs> he's got life going on he's engaged must be nice but also like get your shit done pat he's he's, he's not, not gonna i don't think he'll listen to this but if he did i still <laughs> wow. want to get his shit done he doesn't listen to his roommate's work i don't listen to my own work i don't think i've watched a single video i've made you don't even watch it back when you cut it no why it's not worth it I mean, I'm literally doubling the amount of time it takes something. I mean, if you watch it two times, yeah, that's speed. doubling the amount of time it took. No, I watched it two times speed. 
Like after you edit it. Oh, like watch it. I mean, I'll, I'll go through different clips or I'll, I'll hit a point just to make sure that the audio sounds good overall. But I have enough trust in this and then in the like systems that I use mm-hmm. that it's going to sound decent. And if not, I do it for fun. It's I'm not doing wow. this in a professional place. You, so you, Everybody, you hear that? He doesn't care about y'all. That's not what I said. That's what he meant. What I'm saying is that if there's a little, if something's a little buggy, it's okay. I'm not getting paid. I'm doing, I'm keeping it fun. Not even the most a, recent podcast was my phone in in my car. Not driving even back a from, quarter? What? Not even a, you not having get a, a single quarter. Mm. No, it's just been a money sink so far. You're doing it wrong, man. I'm not trying to make money on it. <laughs> it's really not, it's not even something I'm I'm trying to do. Right. If somehow it happens, cool. But this is more. I, I think you could. This is more me just having fun. Yeah. I don't. I just. I do so much already that trying to commit to something, especially when Pat is too busy and I'm too busy and we have right. opposite schedules, that trying to I mean, trying to monetize and trying to sell stuff, it's just not worth it. I guess he is supposed to be the co-host. Yeah, and because when well, I, I see him maybe 15 minutes a day because when I get home, he's leaving. And then he gets home at like two and I'm asleep. Why are you asleep? So, wasting time. I'm, yeah, I know. XP waste, right? XP <laughs> I could be 99 attack right now in RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, well, well what, like the, 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 one of the reasons why I do want to start streaming is because I have a good feeling that I'll enjoy it. Even if it's just me playing Minesweeper <laughs> on a browser window. Yeah, I think I would enjoy it, and, and and different from this, I do think I would try to make some money from it. Mm-hmm. Obviously not like first week. If I don't make a dollar, I'm gonna quit. No, that's right. not how that works. Um, but I it would probably have more of a push behind it than you're saying this has. Yeah, and it should. There. Part of the reason that this has no push behind it is because of the differing schedules. Mm -hmm. And when this started to get to a point where we were doing it consistently, that's when I got a job at Westgate. Mm. I mean, then I was bleeding money, so I I needed it. But yeah, it'd be it'd be really nice if I made twenty bucks a month playing Minesweeper. Yeah, (laughs) I bet you could. Yeah, we'll see. I have a friend that well, I know somebody (laughs) that. That, that streams and he's been doing it for a bit but like oh that one guy <laughs> i i know who you're talking about his, yeah. his issue is that he was doing it constantly and then he fell off for like a year and a half mm-hmm. so he kind of lost everything so i can and my, then fortnite came around and fucked everybody. it fucked everything my um my friend sean does what is he fuck not turok Tarkov? Tarkov. He's playing Tarkov. At least last I heard. Well, it's called SK from Tarkov. W- whatever. He's not. Tur- it's not Turok. <laughs> but point being, he, he's he been streaming for a couple of years now, so I can put you in contact with him. Sure. If you just want someone to bounce ideas off of. Because yeah. he, he showed me some stuff, too, like, like early OBS on. Stuff? Yeah, he would help me out with OBS. I helped him out with some web stuff. I mean, not as much, because he would send me a message saying, hey, can you help me with this? And I'd say, yeah, remind me tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and Either he wouldn't remind me or I'd forget. Because he, he works nights also. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I was... Scheduling, man. Yeah. I was just trying to see. Like, I was trying to think of what to stream. And, like, some of the, some of the stuff was probably going to be, like, the science stuff. Um, And right now I only have one monitor. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be interesting. Well, you're going to have three. Well, yeah, but you're not leaving soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Bye. <laughs> well, because I, I definitely want to test it soon. Like, I, I, I'm i not making an announcement or anything of when I'm starting because I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm definitely going to be live in the next couple of weeks. Uh, what do you need two monitors just to test out? Well, because I don't want, like, OVS and, and the chat on the same window that I'm working on. Oh, right. There's, there's chat. I forget about chat. <laughs> There's people watching <laughs> you? People. Well, because we don't stream because it's yeah. so inconsistent. So I'm just used to having OBS set up as a compiler. And then 
Boop. To be fair, I, in terms of the chat itself, I could have it on my phone. But oh, do that. I rather just not have my phone on for hours on end. Your phone is on hours on end every day. Yeah, but it's not on on. Oh, with having the screen up, just plug it in. It's gonna explode. It won't explode. That it's not Samsung. That's the viral hit. What? That's the viral hit. Uh, Seeing I mean, a phone explode? Yeah, like I'll be streaming, you know, and I'm a nobody. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, I was looking at my the chat on my phone and I exploded. Oh shit! And it burned my hand. Go get get a hold of one of those Samsung notes. <laughs> no, but I, I I tried it last night for like two seconds. Mm-hmm. To the point where Kathleen was like, "Wait, I just got an email that you went live," <laughs> and I was just like, "I know." I just <laughs> I took it off already. Were you it, using OBS? Yeah, I, I was connecting OBS to Twitch. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how I want to do it. I, I, like, I want to be really private with it. I mean, I, I you've noticed that I haven't said any names in, or I, I haven't said any names that you haven't said right. in that specific conversation. Or that, like, or or specific details about my life. Yeah, yeah. Um, Like, I, I want to be private like that with it to the point where, like, I don't necessarily want to not ever use a not incognito tab on a stream yeah but we'll see i mean i I think yeah to start doing it whatever it is just start as soon as you can like i haven't even started and i already went through my social medias to make sure that my location or my city isn't in any of them really yeah and josh goes ahead and posts a picture of us and puts it in blast where i live (laughs) (laughs) i didn't though I mean, you posted a picture of us. I mean, I told you I was going to, though. I asked you if that was okay. You didn't really ask if it was okay. It's okay. No, I did. No. Yeah, I said, Jose, I'm going to post a picture of you. And you didn't say no. Well, there's two pictures. You only asked for one. You're being a bitch. No, that's what happened. Wait, yeah, but what does that matter? You should ask every time. It was one gallery. No, it was the escape room and then the... the. Oh, I forgot about the escape room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I forgot he that one. He forgets about asking about consent. No, I'm not making that joke. <laughs> um, but... Yeah. yeah it, it That's I just... It's not... I think I think wh- it would be good, though. Kind of open you up a little bit. You think I'm closed off? Yes. How? You were just talking about how you're afraid that anyone knows where you might live. That's not being closed off, though. That's just me being scared of people. What are you... That's that's being closed (laughs) off. No, but in the sense of... Like somebody being crazy. I know some crazy people. So they know you live in Orlando? No. That's a pretty big... Pretty big area. Yeah, but... If they look at certain social medias, they can... Calculate some... Consistent places. They could. But that really just feeds to my point that I think it will help you relax and open up a little bit. <laughs> Not that you're a closed off, non-communicative person, but you're anxious. I'm anxious. Okay. I get it. But that was one thing I really liked about this is that it got me. I now have a headspace that I can navigate to. That's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to word vomit and don't really care what I say. You know? Yeah. And I think it'll do the same thing for you. I mean, that's what us can do. It was doing. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know why it's been so hard for me to commit to something. Because I've, you, I mean, you know the million ideas I've had. Mm-hmm. I just, I think it's because you don't like, um, not 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 following through, but <laughs> having it not come to fruition. For fruition. I don't like not. You don't like when things don't manifest. Yes. So there's been a lot of things that have started and then not manifested. So you're, you're kind of hesitant I, I, to do I've it I've definitely again. struggled with 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 not being patient enough. On the um, projects yeah. evolving? Yeah. And, and not giving myself enough time to actually try stuff out. Yeah. When you start a new thing, what do you how do you go into it? Really excited. Nothing. And, and like full steam ahead and then 
three days later i could not give a single shit about it <laughs> and that's why yeah so, so that's why i i've i've disappeared from it well not disappeared but like i've i've literally stopped doing stuff for the sake of putting it out there mm -hmm. because i that was just forcing me to be like i, I just wasn't happy with what i was doing mm -hmm. um and, and it was just not like i would look at all the stuff i posted and not that i should care about likes and anything like that but we live in a world where that's all that counts yeah it gets to you yeah it but, really does you, did you hear that Instagram was thinking of yes. removing the likes? Yes. I'm actually pretty about it. I agree with you, but seeing, like, if I see a post that I actually like, I already often enough don't like anything, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though I actually like the post. Yeah. Just because I just don't. Not having that reminder. It's just not gonna make me do it even less. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I get that because I, I don't really like things very often either. Mm -hmm. I, I think I really, if I can just hide it on my own, I I don't care. I don't care how many likes I get. Right. It's the same reason I don't check the views for this. I don't even. You should you should hire a, a um, I don't know why you would call that person. What uh, social media manager? A uh, number manager. <laughs> <laughs> Just to look at the numbers. Yeah. No, that's down the road. Yeah. Um. I. I. But I'm. I'm. I'm okay with them getting rid of the. Yeah. The I mean. I. I think. I don't care what they do. Like, yeah. And it, Facebook's it, gonna it, take over. It, they already. Did. <laughs> uh. But. I, I'm definitely. I've always def. I've. Oh, that was a weird sentence. I've always been more of a lurker. Mm hmm. Same. So. And that sounds really creepy, but trust me, it's not. Uh, I mean, I anyone who listens to this probably knows what a lurker is. Yeah. But lurker, just for anyone who doesn't, is someone who goes on a website and doesn't really participate, but reads. Yeah, for example, like, I watch a lot of Twitch. Mm -hmm. Like, 90% of the content I watch is Twitch. Eh, maybe 80. But I've probably talked in chat maybe out of a million, out of a hundred... I'm just saying uh, ballpark uh, figure, but like out of the hundred times I watch Twitch, maybe four times. Yeah, and it'll, sometimes it'll just be like hello, <laughs> and then that's it. It's just I don't know. And I and well, YouTube's been in around since 2005. Yeah, I've probably let left three comments. Yeah, well, YouTube comments are accessible. Yeah, but they didn't used to be like that. Yeah, they were used to be good. But like, you know how many YouTube videos I watch? Yeah. Is, nope. is that something you want to change or are you fine with with being a lurker do you like being a lurker i i like it in certain things like for example like uh, on twitch just like twitch chat mm -hmm. it's like its own thing like it, it, it like it, it honestly feels like it's like you're either part of it or you're not kind of thing right like you, you either understand what's going on or you don't where especially when you go to a specific stream like they have their own community and like they have their own inside jokes and stuff like that and and it's very hard to get into um like communities like that because of said things right um but for twitch chat i almost i see it as part of the stream mm -hmm. more than like oh i can actually like participate kind of thing it's like a secondary yeah, like, thing to watch like I, i'll watch with the chat on like yeah I just yeah. watch the chat yeah i get that um but in terms of like instagram and like twitter like yeah i would definitely want to part the uh, conversate more mm -hmm. it's just social inside <laughs> yeah yeah when it's not your default mode it's hard because i'm i'm the same way no yeah. i just don't it was the same way it was the same reason i stopped well, part of the reason I stopped playing RuneScape or WoW when I was younger, mm -hmm. because if I wasn't playing with people I knew, I never tried to talk to new people. Yeah, I mean, that's why I play Fortnite. Why? Because I only play with people I know. Okay, yeah. But I, I for MMOs especially, the whole thing is going and meeting new people. <laughs> <laughs> it's all community-based, no, but it's I, something that I want to work on. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to do that more. Yeah, man, that's... 
But I'm just indirectly a reason why I want to start streaming. To start interacting with more people. Yes. And I was thinking of and this might be more of a of a con than a pro. Mm-hmm. Cause I was thinking of doing it uh, to start tonight till week. And like either Monday and Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause I want Fridays for myself. Um, and maybe some weekends if I'm not doing anything, but I lost my point. I'm going to find it. Give me a minute. Do you want me to wait? I mean, you can fill the void. If okay. You want. Um, I think, I think you should just do one night a week and set a oh, certain amount of time. I remember. Okay, go. So it will probably be like three hours from like seven to nine. Mm-hmm. That's, that's two hours. That's two, but six thirty. You know, okay. Um, but maybe 10. But I was thinking of doing one, like if I do two nights a week, one in, in English and one in Spanish. Oh, okay. But like I, that would break the, the, divide the two years that I'm going to get <laughs> into well, one and one. Well, okay. Yes, but you're not trying to put all your eggs in one basket. What that does is <laughs> it, cause then I can support two nights. Cause what that does is you're trying out two different um, demographics and seeing which one you work better in. Mm-hmm. So let's say you commit to 10 weeks of doing it Monday and Wednesday. And at the end of those 10 weeks, you have 10 Amer- English followers, mm-hmm. but you have 50 Spanish ones. Mm-hmm. That means you know that you should double down on the Spanish one. And That's then true. now you would double the amount of Spanish that you can do. It's it's just you when you're starting, you are in the throw shit against the wall and see what sticks phase. No. But if you're not doing that, I also, just for the sake of sticking through that 10 weeks or whatever period you set, mm-hmm. I think doing one night a week might be better. Because three hours is, is a long amount of time. Yeah. Especially when you have like relationships you need to maintain and work you need to maintain. And a dog. And a dog. <laughs> you got responsibilities. Set up. You travel. <laughs> Fuck. You're a, you're a worldly man now. No, not yet. You've been to like states. That doesn't. That's, not, <laughs> that, that's the whole world. You left the island. You're like Ash. You left Pallet Town. Puerto Rico is Pallet Town. Yep. Uh, if you didn't know, that's where all the Pokemon actually are. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's like I'm iffy about it because I, I know that I want to uh, stream design work, and I don't want to be like you know start start like a project when I'm streaming in English and then two days later continue it in Spanish. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Like, I was I was picturing games. That's, I mean, I could do like Monday would be work or or like I could do one, one of the days of the week will be games and then the other day would be. What about splitting the stream by day? Not Not day to day, but splitting each day in half. Like if you did a three hour stream 90 minutes in English and then 90 in Spanish. Is that bad? Is that done? Is that dumb? Done. Is that something that's oh, that there's precedent know. for it? I mean, there's definitely people that do day and night streams, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody do two languages. Because I, I don't and, see why not. And and I don't and I don't want to make it seem like if I'm doing an, an English stream, or I should just say it the other way around, because there's more. I would say that there's more people I know Spanish that talk English than in- people that talk English that know Spanish. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I don't want to sound like if I'm streaming in Spanish, I don't want to sound like if you don't talk Spanish, don't come to my stream. Right. Like, it's more of a, if you come to my chat and you talk in English, I'm going to talk in- in- to you in English. Like, it's fine. Yeah. But just know that I will more than likely do the majority of the stream in, in-, in Spanish. I think, I think, Starting it in English and then switching to Spanish. Let's say it's a nine, uh, like a, a three hour thing. Mm-hmm. Doing the first 90 in English and then saying, hey, switching to Spanish. If you want to talk in English, I'll talk back. Like, say what you just said. I pressed the transition button, the PR flag was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I think that'd be good. I, I really think doing one day a week is the best way to start because it's it's if I do, well, you've already said that you go gung ho on something and then burn yourself out if i do one day a week i'm gonna end up doing it more than one day a week commit to doing one day a week 
I can't stop myself. <laughs> yes, you can. I believe in you. You're an adult now. You have it's, a 401k. I, it's going to be like, okay, say I stream from my computer and I stream design work. Uh-huh. Which my computer might blow up while I do that. Um, Probably. But then I'll be playing Fortnite on Wednesday night. And then I'll be like, why don't I just stream it? I have to press two buttons. I mean, you could. If it's something like that where are you? St- it's like low effort, yeah. you might as well. I'm trying to get those achievements, bro. I'm trying to get to Oh, the Twitch achievements? <laughs> I want those bits. <laughs> and your gamify works. It's so annoying. It's like I was reading through it, and I'm like, like there's some of them that are like okay that's that's a lot of work mm-hmm. oh there's a lot of luck involved like what like especially like you have to gain a certain amount of followers uh oh, okay and yeah. for it to be affiliate and, and partner but yeah we'll see i feel like i'm a, like i don't i want to set out first because i don't want to like go like full force and then like create my own transitions and all my own alerts and all that and all of a sudden i quit yeah i kind of want to do all that bare bones man seriously yeah. do bare bones that's why i want to use my apple headphones and you said no because because it'll sound so bad <laughs> okay no do it once do it once and then listen to the i know people thing. that stream with apple headphones and it sounds okay it sounds it doesn't sound like a phone call okay well you have a beard so look out for that the microphone uh, will rub it. That's what happened because of the first podcast we did. We did it on our phones with um, our Apple headphones. Mm-hmm. And it's, it was my beard mostly. Well, his too. But you could just hear every time we turned our head. It was... Don't move. I can't. I move all the time. You see I, me at work. That's why I get up Have you seen how much I've minutes. moved in this entire conversation? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I'm constantly moving. Oh, my legs are moving. Oh, okay. Yeah, my legs sometimes move. I transfer the energy. I I doing the nervous like bop, 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 bop. same, but we'll see. Hopefully you tune in. Yeah, especially in the Spanish parts. Well, it'll be oh yeah, and that's how I'll learn. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, at the same time, I don't think it would be an issue. Ah no, because like if some if I start a project and like I'm doing it in English and somebody actually gets invested in the project and like is is actually trying to see how it turns out and all of a sudden I, i'm doing it in spanish they're not going to be able to follow along as much as they would want yeah for for design work i agree i in my head i was thinking video games where switching doesn't really matter it matters but not as much like if you're watching fortnite and there's no audio versus english versus spanish oh, okay. the yeah. amount that you'll, you'll enjoy it more is marginal you know but if you're you're right if you're doing design projects you would probably need to split it and do two separate projects but yeah. I think I definitely think you should do it though don't worry about getting all the custom transitions and things just transition. have something yeah don't worry about those yet but just I do wanna, something but, but I want to make them make that it's literally the only thing that wants me to get in back into motion <laughs> well make that your the start of your stream like good you just I, i'm making my stream stream assets on stream yeah i'm not i'm not kidding that's yeah. that's really good like i want to because people can follow you from from the beginning yeah. and really be invested especially yeah. if someone says hey why don't you try this and then you try it and you like it then now they've invested ideas into you yeah yeah i follow the guy that did most of their of their almost all of their branding mm-hmm. and their transitions it's really good they make money it's weird because there's the streamers that actually believe in like how much value that brings yeah like the branding and you know like putting a personality or like a brand behind the mm-hmm. broadcast and then there's the ones that believe five dollars on creative market and they buy a, a streaming pack and that's it yeah so but that in itself is a brand that, that's fair enough like the the it's like the iDubs kind of or H3H3 where it's shitty but that is the personality it's like a specific kind of shitty it's not bad but it's like grungy almost 
Like iDubs just does a bunch of terrible camera angles and bad green screen. <laughs> but it's on belch. That's what I'm saying. It, it becomes part of the brand. I haven't watched an iDubs video in since the Jake Paul thing happened. Or Logan Paul. Oh, thing. Content Cop. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he even posts anymore. He does. He did the tier list, but I think he moved to Twitch. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't think he's streaming now. I mean, man, people make money on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. I can't blame them. No, I would. I would love to do a Twitch thing if I could have a consistent schedule, but I don't see that happening. Hey, man, you start using a calendar. You could do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me let me get to Colorado and see how things yeah. are. Maybe I'll just start streaming. Uh, WoW Classic. No, yeah, we could. Yeah, I mean that'd be fun. Watch my computer blow up, but OBS, Discord, and WoW Classic running. Yeah, you'll need to get a uh, <laughs> a computer. Yeah, that's why I was joking that I'm streaming Minesweeper, but mm-hmm. I'm streaming Minesweeper. <laughs> <laughs> Minesweeper's fun. Oh that- damn, you could do solitaire. Bro, I think I found my niche. <laughs> <laughs> could you? Can you stream off your phone? Yep. Like, you could do that. I mean. You like you can't with- stream of your if if you want to do it of quality you can't really stream off your phone directly you can't stream your your like, phone screen like, I, like screen capture it, you could do a capture card or you could do like you could plug it in and do the QuickTime thing where it's reading your screen oh but, but you can't you can't use mixer or twitch no or okay not that i know of at least i'm sure there's some way of doing yeah. it yeah Cause I know I there's people that I've seen like stream like IRL stuff mm-hmm. from their phone, um, but I don't want to do IRL stuff. You you don't want to do wireless IR IRL stuff. Oh IRL okay. <laughs> or vlogs. Man, yeah, I ain't about to put my life out there. No, and that 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 era has kind of faded. That mm. was like 2015. Yeah. They're fun. I, I like doing them. I'm actually I'm thinking of do, making a it wouldn't be vlogging or it wouldn't be streaming, but doing a um uh like a mini documentary of my trip out to Colorado. Cause it's three it's gonna be three days of driving. Mm-hmm. And the first one I'm going to visit Elijah, but then I'm going to stop in Kansas City. I don't know shit there. Why are you stopping in Kansas? Because it's it's eight hours between. Oh. It's just it's right on my way, so I have eight hours, eight hours, eight hours. So I'm thinking just to give me something to do, buying a dash cam and then kind of vlogging my way out there. Just take one of us. I can't dash cam that. Why not? What would I plug it into? Your butt. I don't store data. Oh. Um. You fool. But no, I think I might do that because it's it's a fun way and it'll keep me entertained for the 24 hours of driving. I would lose my mind. I I drove a total of like maybe six seven hours this weekend, this past weekend. It's rough, and I will I will lose my mind. I'm gonna find an audio book. I might I, finally I, do Game of Thrones. I, I was gonna do the harmony of the song, but I forgot it, so I'm not gonna do it. The harmony of the song. Of the oh, the melody. The intro. Yeah. Do 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 do. Dinklage. Everybody can hate me. I don't watch Game of Thrones. It's okay. You got uh, time. Zero interest in watching it. But it's so good. This last season's not. I think incredible. Marco Polo was better. What's that on? Netflix. Netflix. I guess I'll, I can watch it. Don't watch it. I don't want to watch it. It sounds stupid. No, it's like there's no purpose in watching it. Is it not good? It is, but it's two seasons. Hmm. And that was just like, eh. Yeah. I'm working on Shit's Creek right now. On what? Shit's Creek. It's this really, really rich family and they lose everything. But the dad bought a town as a joke in the 90s. Oh. Wait. What's his name? He's in American Pie movies? Yes. Yeah, that guy. Okay, I know. Kathleen started watching that. Yeah, it's pretty good. My mom told me about it when I was back last. So I started watching it. Oh. Um, you don't like it? It's like... I don't. What would you call that kind of show? Like that was the genre. Um, it's not. A, it's, it's either a sitcom or a character comedy. Because sitcom is just situational. Yeah, it's just basically everything. But yeah, but there's there's different. Like there's some things where the characters so, are the part that's funny. Ooh, I'm gonna get flamed right now. Okay. It's like I don't like Friends. Yeah, it's okay. I don't like. Ooh, I'm walking into fire here. Is Seinfeld. 
Uh, I'm Seinfeld. Though. Who likes Seinfeld? I mean, a lot of people. Not normal people. I like Seinfeld. You're not normal. It set the stage. Um, I don't really like The Office. Oh, really? Uh, what? Yeah, I guess I can't trust your opinion on anything <laughs> it's anymore. Like, okay. I I like certain moments, mm-hmm. but eighty percent of it, I'm like, eh. just doesn't do it for you. No sick. I don't. I've never found a sitcom that does it for me. I mean, what what shows do you like? I don't a lot? really watch shows. I know that's why I'm saying or asking what shows. Let do me you see. Like? What was the last show that I was actually like following that wasn't animated? Well, I guess that's the answer. You like animated shows, like Cowboy Bebop. I know you're a big fan of. That's a shit, man. Makes me get existential. Um, but the I think the last show that I was like following it was it was probably the Get Down on on Netflix. Oh right, but that then they canceled. canceled. Right? That's why I don't believe in anything. It's everything that I like gets canceled. They cancel it because they find out that you're into it. They're like, oh, the minorities are actually liking this show about what? minorities. No, one specific minority. <laughs> yeah, oh, Puerto Ricans. Just, no, no, one specific. <laughs> you. Like, oh, Jose likes it. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Yeah, it, it was a really good show. And, it's still on there, right? But yeah, um, Justice Smith, the main person on it, mm-hmm. is the. Sorry for looking at my phone. Um, is the main actor on that's Detective Pikachu now? That's okay. When I saw that, I was trying to figure out where I'd seen him before. I mean, you probably saw him at Jurassic Park. He was in Jurassic Park? Or Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, or whatever. Is that the third one? One of the new ones. Are there three? There's too many. There's two. They were not great. They were I so I haven't far. seen any of the new ones. I know Chris Pratt's in him. Yeah, I like him. He's better in Guardians. On, oh, in Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy, yeah. Agreed. He's a fun character. Agreed. It's really crazy how good Marvel casting is. Yeah. It's, it's like spot stupid. on. It's stupid. I mean, when you have Disney money. It, but. Yeah. I mean, well, that's definitely Disney's part all about of it. character. Huh? Like, they, they are characters. Yeah. The, Dis- Disney made their money off characters and, and maintaining a certain image. So they're really good at that. Yeah. It's just insane. Like, I was watching the end game and I was just like, there has to be one bad cast in here mm-hmm. it's stupid yeah it's like the 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 only time where i i, I was just like mm, i don't know if this is a good uh decision is when they casted uh chris emsworth as to a thor i did not like the second thor or the first one was okay the dark world the dark world yeah and that didn't happen <laughs> uh but Ragnarok and now uh, Infinity War and Civil well, Civil War, Infinity War, mm-hmm. and then Endgame, perfect. Yeah, I think, and that's not even a casting thing. That was the movie just wasn't as good. Th- that too, but it definitely felt like the weakest cast thing. Oh, me. oh, I thought you meant Thor. In that was not. I don't honestly. I don't remember Dark World. That was good. Keep it that way. Okay. Uh, did you did you see Endgame, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you remember? So, do you remember some of Dark World? Do I? You, they talk about it for like half of Endgame. Uh, we're gonna do a quick section of spoilers. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. Okay, what? One of the stones. We're. Whoa. It was the Nat- Natalie Portman. I do not remember that at all. <laughs> Well, it, you don't remember it on. I, I remember them going back, but I don't remember the movie at all. She, I forget which stone is. I don't. I don't know the names. Mm-hmm. But she touches something, and it's it's the one that's it's more like slime. This is not an actual stone. So like red. It's the red one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that she she touches it comes in contact with it, and it goes into her, and that's why she ends up in Ars- in Asgard because they're the only ones that can take care of her. Okay. Because it's a freaking stone. Like, I swear I've seen it, but I, I don't remember that. I totally believe you. I mean, that, but I'm saying, like, all you have to remember is that... Is that that happened. Yeah. Yeah, but I, you're right. That is a good point. The fact that I don't remember is a pretty, is pretty so telling. Bad. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, everything else has been a winner. So. That's ridiculous. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the from uh, spoilers done. You can come back. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do a timestamp, but <laughs> three. No. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, the other cast choice that I was just like, eh, is when they they casted um, what's her name? Mm, what's the character? The chosen one. The what? The chosen one. The chosen one. That's the name of the character. Uh, oh, oh, um, Captain Marvel. <laughs> no, no. Gamora. No, from Doctor Strange. Oh, oh, uh... Oh, my God. I literally told Kathleen her name. Lady, lady woman, girl. I literally told I, Kathleen her name I can't remember. right after... Right after we saw her in camp. Mm. Either way, she was... Because... Cause, she seemed fine to me. Well, the, the character is not white. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, that was like... Eh, that sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, what... what? skin color she's the whole character is asian oh okay uh, the character technically like itself is racist oh is it so it's kind of like they on purpose try to like deviate from that and that's why they is it is it racist or is it just it plays on stereotypical stereotypes like really hard i really don't know i'm, I'm curious no i'm saying like what... they the it shows in one the character plays on uh, really hard like relies really hard on like Asian stereotypes but in an in an offensive way or some of it some of it in a sensitive way insensitive way yeah okay like it's un- sometimes you're like mm. it's like a little too much yeah yeah cause there, there's things like Shaq Fu where it's definitely over the top yeah but I mean I mean if you want like if you want to get into specifics like even there's there's evidence that even Doctor Strange was supposed to be Asian not in the movies, but in the comics. And, like, eventually they started drawing him more and more like a white person. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember him. But I have some old comics of it. Yeah. I don't remember him but being But Benedict Asian. Cumberbatch does Doctor Strange? Yeah, we saw that together, didn't we? Doctor Strange? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we did at the Universal, the City Walk Theater. Oh, uh, with Dustin. Is that what we want to see? I think so. Ah, uh, whatever. I feel like that feels right. It's on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. all that matters. Every fucking Marvel movie. <laughs> Not for long. Disney's got uh, their streaming service. Well, they're going to put them on Hulu. Oh, they just took over Hulu? They, oh, that's right. They, they just bought, got rights to it. They bought out Comcast. all of Comcast. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that makes sense more than doing their own. I mean, they're still doing their own. Oh, they are? Yeah. So, but only for the Disney movie. Yeah, I think they're going to separate it. And then they're going to notice that people are signing up for two things and they're going to put everything in Hulu. I think, I would imagine they use the Disney streaming service more like the vault. Yeah. Where it's like an exclusive type of thing. What time is it? 10. Oh, we should probably wrap this up. How long has it been, do you know? About two hours. No fucking way. Yeah. I don't believe you. Uh, I think one four. I can't see it. Yeah, one thirty eight. So, and we, we sat here for a little bit and yeah. shot the shit beforehand. But, yeah, let's wrap it up. So, wrap, we're going to wrap it. Rippity, rappity, rap. Didn't really have to talk. Didn't have to go to the notes very often. Or really yeah, at all. because I've done this before, Joshua. I know. I'm proud of you. It was good. Your mic positioning so much better than everyone else. <laughs> Dude, Mike Mike will do this. He'll, he'll talk back here, and then he'll move up and talk right here. <laughs> like, Mike, just a fist, a fist. You know, and he'll, he'll come over here and talk I, past it. I used to do this without a mic, Sam. So how you held on to it? That's do, gross. Doing this, I feel like I'm rich or some shit. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I whose show is this? What's this? Eight dollars? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yeah, I yeah. it was a Shure SM SM fifty seven something like that. Yeah, Shures are good. And I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my name's Jose, and I'm here to say, yeah, and just rap. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Uh, whatever you do on Anchor and in the comments down below like on Anchor like on Anchor and in the comments down below and follow talk about Anchor. your favorite game of Minesweeper there's only one I know but the game that they played oh like specifically where were you and how many tiles did you click on and yeah I want a play by play yeah on your when, like how old were you what time was it where were you were you wearing clothes? Who was the president? Who was the president? Oh, Pat's here. When Perfect timing. 
Hey, Pat, come say hi on camera real quick. Well, the podcast. We're talking about your our favorite games of Minesweeper. Yeah, just just come tell everyone to like, comment, subscribe. Though that's not live. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Great. Pat was here the whole time. <laughs> All right. All right. See ya. See ya.